in this position the knight perform my effective attack of knight fork between my rook and the queen but i don't see my queen and sacrifice my bishop and go for the position of f2 hello chess lovers how are you welcome back to our channel chess master i hope you all are safe in this corona pandemic here we have continued our game explanation series in this video i have played and explained a very interesting game on the chess board in this game you may get shocked by watching my some moves but i am damn sure that in last you will also agree on my moves and appreciate it also and at last of the video again dear the puzzle use your brain and comment the next move so watch the video till last and also enjoy the video yes if you have any doubt regarding to the video then text me on instagram at last give a blue thumbs up to the video hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell for never missing upcoming video so chess lovers let's start today's video Now chess lovers focus on this particular game. So at that particular game I watch black and my opponent watch white. So he start and go for his pawn from the position of e2 to the position of e4 and I take my pawn from the position of e7 to the position of e5 simply blocking that particular pawn. Okay. After that he take his knight to the position of f3 and want to attack on my pawn at the position of e5. I take my knight to the position of c6 and defend my pawn at the position of e5. Then he take his bishop from the position of f1 to the position of c4. And I also take my bishop from the position of f8 to the position of c5. Then he push his pawn from the position of d2 to the position of d3. And I take my knight from the position of g8 to the position of f6 because my knight which is at position of f6 i want to put that particular knight to the position of f2 so that i can perform a effective tactics of knight for between my opponent's queen and rook in the protection of my bishop which is at the position of c5 okay that was in my mind but when he go for the knight from the position of f3 to the position of g5 Okay then at that particular position I get to know that he is also going to perform the same thing that I want okay so I drop that my plan and I am attack counter way for this particular plan that my opponent was going to execute against me okay so I push my uh, pawn from the position of d7 to the position of d6 and allow him to attack on my pawn at the position of f6 and to give me a dangerous knight fork between my queen and a rook with a protection of my of that bishop at the position of c4 okay so he performed that which so in this particular situation scenario you can see that i think it was a puzzle part that i uh, that i give you in my previous video of game explanation so and now i am going to tell you that the effective solution of this particular puzzle that how i checkmate that particular opponent king at that particular situation you can see that what will a ordinary chess player do a ordinary chess player what do he basically save his queen and sacrifice his rook always but i don't do this type of things i basically i'm going to sacrifice my bishop and want to play a bishop gambit here okay so i take my bishop from the position of c5 to the position of f2 So at that particular situation, I perform a check for my opponent. So my opponent king had only option he will get captured by bishop at position of f2. So he captured my bishop at that particular position. After that, I don't see my queen now also, and take my knight from the position of f5 to the position of g4 and perform a, another check for my opponent. At that particular situation, you can see that if the opponent queen want to capture my knight at a position of g4 then at that same spot i will be captured his queen with my bishop which is at a position of c8 okay so i perform a check so i basically save it check and go for the king to the position of f1 at that particular spot i again perform a check and a effective attack of knight fork between his king and queen okay and at that situation the opponent also commit a mistake he can capture my knight with his bishop but he will get shocked after 
after seeing that dangerous night fog between his king and queen. So, at that particular sp- uh, spot, you get to know uh, uh, one thing also that in the game of chess, you don't have to play with the pieces, you have to play the opponent mindset and mental pressure of the opponent. Okay, so he takes his king to the position of e, e2, and, and again, I perform a uh, knight uh, a knight attack to the king from my knight at a position of d4 and perform a check for my opponent king at a particular situation he captured my knight which was at a position of e3 so you can see that in this particular game i am keep sacrificing my pieces okay at that situation you you can see that i only left one queen one bishop two rook and knight and here have many pieces like king two rooks two bishops two knight and i don't capture his any time type of pieces still now okay but it is all about my plan that i want to execute against my opponent okay so at that particular spot i take my queen from the position of d8 to the position of h4 okay so at that particular situation what will he do basically he captured my rook at a position of h8 then i perform a check for my opponent then he go to the position of f2 to save his check and also he perform a discovered attack for my queen because you can see that in this particular scenario the bishop which is at a position of c1 are can attack on my queen in the very next move at a position of g5 so basically I, I save my queen from the position of g5 to the position of f6 and perform a check for my opponent king at the position of f2 after that my opponent take his king from the position of f2 to the position of e3 and that all i want because in a very next move it is a checkmate point for my opponent in a very next move how she it is checkmate now my opponent can't go anywhere because i perform a checkmate and win that particular game very easily due to my tactics that i told you that what you have to do in this particular situation that in this particular situation you don't have to save your queen basically perform a check for the your opponent and after performing some of the moves I checkmate because at that particular situation you can see that if the opponent king want to capture my queen at a position of f4 then he will be get captured by my pawn with at which is at a position of e5 and if he want to capture my knight at a position of d4 then he will be get again captured by my pawn at a position of e5 okay and if my and if my opponent king want to go to the position of f3 then he will get captured by my queen and if he want to go to the position of e2 then he will be get again captured by my knight which is at a position of d4 and if he want to go to the position of f2 then he will get captured by my queen and if he want to go to the position of d2 then he will be get again captured by my queen which is at a position of f4 now in this particular scenario you can see that the opponent king don't have any type of square to save himself and that is what we call a checkmate for our opponent and by that i can easily win that particular match now you now i think you get to know that why i am keep sacrificing my pieces my knight my bishop and my rook also because at a particular situation you can you see that opponent side has many pieces means two rook two knight two bishop and one queen also but uh, my my side you can see that i only have one queen one knight one bishop and one rook but what is the main valuable piece is a king in a game of chess and at that particular situation i capture that particular king and perform a checkmate for my opponent and thus by that we win that particular game so it is the twist is all about in this move so remember that 
whenever you you get this type of particular situation in a chessboard don't disturb this situation keep perform a uh, keep and get attacks from your opponent shall to a person of action and make him perform to a effective knight fork between your queen and a rook and as in the return you have to only go for your bishop to the person of f2 and perform a check and after that when he he captured your bishop go for your knight to the person of g4 and again perform check after that you have to again keep performing the check and when this type of situation came after performing check sometimes you will get easily captured or in a best way or in a best position so that you can easily capture your particular opponent okay so it is all about the interesting match of this particular game and i hope that you much like this particular game of chess and tactics and if you want to see this type of game of chess and tactics more and more then please like the our video and it is all about the game that i played that how effectively i defeat my opponent due to that particular special move of my bishop so chess lovers now focus on this particular puzzle of a chess game and in this particular puzzle the white player is get to be checkmate his a black opponent in a very next two move so if you get that what is the two move so that white can checkmate his opponent then you can test me on instagram and also test us in a comment box also okay and i will tell you that standard solution of this particular puzzle in a very next video of game explanation okay so just lovers if you like our video then please press the subscribe button and bell icon uh, also so that you will never missing our upcoming videos thank you